On the headlines tonight, Lisa Balick has been talking with military families in Oregon. She's in the newsroom. Lisa, what is their reaction to all of this? And some are definitely scared. Most are taking precautions to downsize any personal information they have on social media sites to avoid becoming a target. First reaction was to worry about my kids. This Oregon military wife is so concerned about family security, she doesn't even want to identify herself on camera. She's an Iraqi war vet herself and takes the possible ISIS internet threats very seriously. Checked all the uh, privacy settings on, obviously, on our social media pages and made sure that somebody can't get any. Like, we don't even put the town that we live in. She's got plenty of company worried about what could happen here in Oregon. I think the warning is justified in this day and age. Casey Curry served 26 years in the Oregon Army Guard, including a tour in Afghanistan. She's proud of her family's military history. My dad was, a, was in Pearl Harbor the day the Japanese bombed. He was a World War II vet. My mom was a Navy vet. So I'm very proud there's real big history. But I also know that it can cause a lot of danger to me and my family. That's why she, too, is spreading the word to step up personal security online, realizing she may need to make other changes to stay safe. You have veteran plates driving around. People know you're either current or former military. Just last week, FBI Director James Comey was in Portland and told us the terrorist threats are real. And the internet is a powerful terrorist tool. People who want to hurt my children or steal my identity or steal the nation's secrets or take trade secrets from an American company, that's where they come because that's where they are. That's why many military families are going low profile on social media, sharing that with their kids as well to protect their loved ones here and overseas. It takes a toll. No question about it. Some military families tell me they are even staying off political posting sites and working to keep their teens from tagging the photos that show where they were taken. Live in the newsroom, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. That's